Hey, George, thanks for sending this uh, piece in. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, it's, uh, I don't get a lot of these and it's just nice to have this kind of level of, of packaging and it's not just animation. It's, it's an experience. And I really, I really enjoyed taking a look at this and, um, I have some notes that I think I could probably share with you. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's first take a look at what you handed in. I'm sure everyone's curious and then we'll go from there. If I can get my mouse back, there it is. <clears throat> A lot of really cool stuff here, like great staging, uh, very dramatic, very um, there's just so much, there's just so much to unpack and so much to enjoy here. So let's get into the notes, shall we? Um, so first and foremost, uh, staging and framing. I know this is like an animation um, review, but I think considering how you're packaging is the packaging the wow, packaging this up it would warrant um, some notes on composition. And I, you know, I think that these are some of the areas that I think could be better. Never forget about the, you know, the hot thirds. I quickly kind of drew a grid here. It's not perfect. I know it's a little offset uh, north here, but I think when you consider that, um, you know, I, I think it's always nice to try to use those hot thirds in an interesting way. I really feel like this is, this is too north in the frame, uh, you know, but it should be, you know, it should be, probably lining up with i would imagine having this this sign basically like here you know and then maybe his head kind of here and whatever whatever and maybe having more of an upshot to make that work um just because this feels a little bit too close to the to the top of the frame in my opinion but this is subjective uh, to a certain degree so like take that for what it's worth next note i have here is um let me scroll up try keeping a bit more of an upright posture here. So he has um, some nice hang time when he use, when, when he turns and pivots, it looks like he's basically already leaning against the post because there's he's quite a bit of a lean back. And so like right here and then suddenly like a fall, but I, I don't really, I don't know. There's something about it. that makes me feel like it would have been a bit more interesting to kind of have like he's already leaning so far back where he could just be twisting and just barely tipping and then it would have been a bit more dynamic and he could really kind of like make a nice contact landing with the post um a little bit more uh dramatic i think so little teeny note it just i think it's a really beautiful moment that could be even more powerful in my opinion um Slightly convoluted arm uh, transition. Let's take a look at the way this arm comes up. It, there's something about it that feels awkward. And I think that the reason for it is, is the as the arm comes up, the, the upper arm sort of slows down and actually moves kind of downwards and like the elbow takes over and then the upper arm comes up again. Where like if I'm going to just pick my, if I'm just going to take my hand and grab a cigarette out of my, out of my ear... I'm not gonna. I, I'm not, I don't think my arm doesn't move in like segmented ways. It just the whole hand, the whole arm just kind of comes up. Now you could break it down and make it more interesting, have a bit of an arc or a little bit of drag on one of the limbs. But right now it just feels like there's too many complexities to the way he's moving his arm here. It feels like he's thinking about moving the upper arm and then the lower arm. It's almost like he's got separate control over those different different parts of his arm. When in reality, that's not how people move. They just basically, especially arms, they move in a very IK-like fashion. So I would probably smooth that out just because it feels awkward. Um, there's also this sort of, it's 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 the same kind of problem on the way out. Like, like you can see the shoulder kind of moves on its own here, right here, and then stops, and then the rest of the arm moves. Too many things are moving in like different sort of segments. And I think that you need to try to unify that a little bit uh, so that the whole arm feels like it's operating as, as a single unit. Um, yeah, like I, I, I'd like, I like to just take a second here before I get too deep into this. I really, really like this piece. So like I I'm giving you some constructive criticism on things that I feel like could be notable for you to maybe focus your energy on. You didn't send me a note, so I don't really know what you want me to focus on. So I'm just going to give you basically my impressions of like areas that I think could be better. Um, and you know, like maybe giving you something to work on. Cause I think a lot of people who send stuff in, um, that's this polished, they're just like, they know that they, it could be better, but they're not too sure exactly where to look. And they just want some fresh eyes. 
buy. So that's what I'm going to basically give you. There's nothing in here at all that I think is critical. I don't think there's nothing here that sticks out. And it's it's there, there's a couple more important notes I think as well. And as they come up, I'll bring them up. But for the most part, a lot of these notes are just like opportunities. If you wanted to sort of um, invest a little bit of more time and energy in in some of these areas, um, or consider making some tweaks or changes. I think it could you could move the needle a little, little bit, but um, but the, you know it's it's a really good piece. It's really nice. So um, just just keep that in mind as I'm move, moving through these notes. Um, so, some cool finger work here um, that is completely being lost due to how fast the arm and hand are moving. Um, I think just better staging is what you need here. I I really didn't see this at first, but like he's twirling the cigarette. Um, it could probably use a like I mean it looks like there's some. You know, and the, and the cigarette's traveling right through the one finger. So I think it probably could could use a little bit more cleanup, but, you know, only if you actually stage it a bit better. Because right now, having that kind of level of movement on the cigarettes and the fingers is kind of a waste of time and energy, really, considering how quickly the hand is moving. You'll never see any of that, right? Um, you know, maybe maybe as long as he, maybe if he pulls it out and then he starts flipping it along his fingers, like a, kind of one of those, those tricks with the coin where he flips it between the different... Um, the different fingers, maybe does something like that first and then kind of just shoots his hand out and almost like flick catches the cigarette to get in it like from from basically between his finger, fingers into like basically the fingers that he needs to 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 uh, to manipulate the cigarette into his mouth. I think doing something here is an interesting it's a question like it's an opportunity you could use right now you, it looks like you want to do something but it's completely being overshadowed by the fact that the arms are moving too much so i would do one or the other i don't think i would try to do do it both at the same time um i like i like the like i like something about this that feels pretty cool um but like it'd be kind of cool if it really there was some real purpose like i said like maybe he's trying to flick it and catch it or something like that Right now, it just feels like he's doing it kind of to kind of do it. This is one of the areas that I think bugs me the most, to be completely honest. That I do not like um, the fact that he's sticking a cigarette into a into a into a mask. It just doesn't sit right with me. It it, it bothers me. It's maybe it's maybe I'm just obsessive compulsive in that way, and it, it or or just anal retentive. I don't know, but I don't like the idea of it being physically impl improbable, implausible. Um, so, I mean, my question would be, can you hide the mask? Can you modify the mask? Maybe make a make a, a hole there where he could actually insert, insert the cigarette for smoking? Because right now it just drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm, gonna lie, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it's unfortunate because I like the character a lot. I think he looks awesome. Um, it'd just be great if... Um, if like, I guess my point here is, is if you're going to do a whole bit on someone with a cigarette, then make sure that the person or the, the rig that you choose it can work with that idea. Uh, um, you know, I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like you wanted to animate this character um, because you really like the rig, um, it, but yet um, you um, you kind of came up a afterwards with this idea of the of the cigarette and you're like, oh, but you know, there's no nowhere to put it. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I would have done oh well. I think it, 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 the animation is still awesome on its own, but it does seem to be a really, really big shadow that's sort of casting over the whole thing because you can't, just because it doesn't work. <laughs> so, I mean, at the end of the day, people are going to look at it and still think it's awesome. But, you know, anyways, I don't know if you have any options there, but I'd be curious, I'd be, I'd be interested to hear what, um, you know, what you could maybe do um, to, to, uh, to get around that. Um, so this is a, this is a note that I would have for the entire sequence. The uh, the fact that he's leaning against this pole, this pole post, I don't know, um, and he's got like these two guns mounted behind him, um, th it, it's begging to be a bit more carefully handled. The interaction, the physical interaction, like you can really see here, like it just there's a lot of floating. There's like I don't really feel like he's actually leaning and making contact with that post, um, and it's a complicated thing to do because you got those weapons there as well. So, but it but complicated is is the invitation of of opportunity, right? Like especially if, when it comes to animation, it can be at least um, if you want to put the time in. I believe that it would be really worth it because he's relatively static on this post and he moves around a little bit um, and. And so those movements should feel plausible and believable and tangible. And I think it's a matter of just trying to figure out what would it look like if he was leaning against a bunch, a couple of weapons and then also leaning up against, uh, like basically these weapons are sandwiched between his back 
slash but and the post itself. And right now, I just don't feel like there's been a, any or enough effort to properly realize that. It just looks like they're floating clearly through the post here. You know, like there's nothing, there's, there's no, like I, there should be some friction. Basically I should feel friction when he starts to do something like this, that just doesn't make any sense. If you're leaning against a post and you're rotating like this, you just, you wouldn't, you would roll. But what's more complicated is that there's these weapons here. So it's not like you're just rolling your back on a post. There's weapons that are also making the actual initial contact with the post. And then your back is, is, is contacting them. I mean, there, there, I have questions. I have lots of questions. Um, and, but no answers when I look at the anime, when I look at the anime. I don't feel like you've really uh, decided to like put a stake in the ground and be like, I'm going to handle this. Like, this is something that I'm going to do. Um, and I think you should. I don't think it would be, it wouldn't be a lot to do uh, because he's not moving a lot. Um, it would just be a matter of making sure that these, these weapons can be animated relative to him properly to make it just feel like there's friction there and there's the proper contacts are being respected. So take that for what it's worth. But right now, I mean, it, it's areas like this are really problematic just because it's just there's literally no feeling of real physical contact with him in the post. It makes it feel like he's not even actually touching it when in reality it's clear that he is leaning 100 percent into it. Um, I'm not a big fan about the way the way the cigarette. Oh, I already said this. I'll just skip right past that. This is where I'm whining about the cigarette kind of just floating in his in his in his mask. Um. This moment here where he basically shoots his arm out, I don't understand it. I don't understand this little thing. I, I like it. There's something about that I, about it that I like, but I think it'd be nice if there was purpose to it, if there was a reason. Uh, for instance, maybe he's sort of doing this to sort of like, um, I don't know. Um, I feel like he would maybe something he would... I don't know, like maybe it has something to do with the sleeve or he's trying to like, um, you know, he's just trying to like um, get access to his to his jacket and maybe doing something like this can sort of maybe loosen up the jackets fit on him or something like I just feel like there should be a reason for it. Otherwise, like, what's he doing? I think is the question. It just feels like he's flicking his like at first I thought he was flicking the cigarette away, but no, no he's still got the cigarette in his mouth. So I just I don't understand it. And I believe that, you know, you know. Decisions on screen, there should, every decision is has to have a good reason, um, especially with animation, because you have control over every frame and every pixel. So just basically, in my opinion, have a, have a reason for this or drop it. I don't really get why it's there. It could be just kind of a distraction in a way. And I think it'd be pretty easy to find some reason why he's doing it. And maybe you already have a reason and it's just, it's just not translating well enough that I can get it. So it's, it's an area here that seems ambiguous and seems sort of... Um, yeah, it just it feels like you could you could probably double down a little bit and and really push an actual like a narrative there. Like, what is he doing? Don't just let actions happen for action's sake. Um. Okay, just I'm I'm just I, I continue to point out how there's like that sloppy contact with the post. Of course, he moves away from the post eventually, so no big deal. Um. <clears throat> I really think you should consider, I really think you should cons consider framing the, um, framing the moment before he throws that bullet up like the cigarette. Um, sorry, like the cigarette, things happen too fast, so staging isn't super clear. So what I'm getting at here is, um, wait, where's the no before? Oh, right. Sorry. One, one little note that I missed here. Maybe work on uh, properly establishing thrust away from the post. He pushes himself away from the post here like this, but it just looks like he floats away from the post. If you were leaning against a post, there's something that you would need to do. You'd probably like push with the butt or something like that. Uh, but I don't really see that. Instead, the butt seems to be shooting forward rather than a push first. It'd just be nice if you had like a mechanic there so it didn't just look like he magically floats off, like floats forward. It would require some physical effort or push away from the post um, or leaning for away from the post in order to get away from the post. And uh, I just don't think it's being handled. Um, so yeah, back to this point here. I really think you should consider framing the moment before he throws that up. So I didn't catch it at first. I don't know what he's like. I don't want know what he's pulling out. I, I just see this red thing and he just throws it up. I, I think it could be interesting if he pulls it out 
and then we get a good look at it, just a bit of a beat. Anime does this all the time. They do these sort of beautiful like hell frames where it's, you know, you're establishing something and then, you know, and then something happens. I think that right now there's just a lot of movement, but not a lot of selling of what it is that you're trying to show me. So I think it could be interesting. It's the same, some similar situation with the, with the cigarette, right? Moving around a lot, moving around a lot. I never really get a really good look at what you're trying to show me because there's too much movement. Same thing here. Same thing here. Pull it out pull it out like for, for the camera, you know, pull it out and then, and then flip it up. could be pretty interesting. Can it kind of, it kind of makes, you know, it, it puts some concrete beats in here as well, as opposed to just constant movement. Next note I have here is, um, there's a strange, <laughs> strange trajectory and interrupted momentum on the right arm. Let's take a closer look. So is this arm comes down? I, I love how you throw it up and there's like a, Kind of like, and I would hang on to that pose a little longer because it looks like you're leaning into this sort of this sort of anime feeling, but I don't feel like you go all the way with it sometimes where like throwing up and then coming down and just letting that linger a little longer, I think could be interesting. I mean, you let it linger a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's a very subjective thing I'm saying here. I just think you could probably push a little further, but I do like that pose. And then you kind of come down and look how fast you're coming down with this hand. Look how fast this is. It's like coming down hard. And then boom, it does this weird thing. It stops completely in that, that, in that trajectory and then moves laterally two frames and then suddenly kind of goes backwards again. That doesn't feel right. It's, it's just, it's because it's, it's not, you can't just interrupt a momentum like that for two frames and then continue it. Um, so my recommendation is just have it kind of swing right through and pick up that, that, that gun on the way would be a, probably a better a better way to do it. Make that transition quick. And it doesn't really stop until he's all the way back here like this, which is going to be, that, it's going to look really cool too because it's one big fluid movement. Picks up the gun and now he's like, oh, shh. Like, um, it's like, I don't know why you're, I don't, I'm trying to figure out why you're doing this. It's almost like you're trying to have precision or something like that on that grab. When in reality, just let it happen fast. That way precision is not even necessary because it happens so quick that you won't even notice if you're cheating. Um, so just like, let it happen. Just make that happen fast. Let that carry right through and grab it. I like these camera movements too, like the, the way you've kind of, how, how you're reframing to, to really suit really beautiful, like cool silhouettes here. Very anime. I love, I love this a lot. This is also a very awesome pose. It's just like, how, it's hard not to love this pose. Um, try to let, make sure that this post isn't getting in the way though of the, of the silhouette. It'd be nice if you could break it up a little bit maybe um, so that you don't get like kind of these two things kind of overlapping. It could be more interesting maybe to just uh, play around with the, the framing a little bit to, to make sure that um, you, you can have some nice isolation on these really strong silhouettes, especially with that gun too, because if this was sticking out like a nice strong silhouette without this um, in the background, because you have a very dark background. So the silhouette's going to be very powerful. Um, when this hand comes down and grabs this in one big swoop um, and it's missing at the end of that movement, it'll be very obvious because the silhouette of, would, would have, will have changed quite a bit That would have that, because that gun would no longer be down here. So there's other advantages to using so the, so not just to make it more graphic, but also for legibility and for clarity. Um, smoothed out the camera with better eases. So, I mean, I was saying I love the cameras, but the movements themselves kind of feel like like it feels a little jarring like i don't know if it's necessary for instance like the the camera kind of comes up a little bit here um and then comes back down that movement just feels like it it's kind of a bit, a bit wobbly and like that, that last little move right here, it, it, there, like there's, there's hardly any ease in at all. Like there's like two or three frames of ease in and it just, for such a quick movement, you could probably, you could probably afford to have a little bit more cushioning there because it feels a little bit too sharp in my opinion. And it, the camera um, ends up being a little bit too, too distracting because of the, the quick and sharp movements. Um, next note here I have is I would hold this more like, uh, oh, some, 
again, it's just an opportunity to hold this a little longer. I really like this moment of like spinning the gun, especially after such a quick movement where he kind of unholsters the weapon. I think it's awesome the way it is, but I would I would flirt with another second potentially um, just to build up, you know, the the intensity and the anticipation for the next the next thing he's about to do because it's very clear he's about to do something epic, right? Um, it could be argued that it would be a little bit too much of a cheat because he's already thrown the bullet up in the air and he wants to be able to shoot it. But I mean, honestly, considering how stylized this is, you'd get away with murder. No one really cares. Love the way this gun wipes past the camera. I just love this with the framing. I think it just looks great. Love the fact it wipes up like this. Um, so this is where we get into some, 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 um, you know, Again, more subjective stuff because it's not animation, but um, I think we need to talk about it because I think, I don't know if you've done any reference here. I, first of all, I love the idea. I love this idea of using multiple frames. I always have. I'm a big fan of Samurai Jack. They do this all the time, um, or at least they used to. Um, Spider-Verse is also playing around with like these multiple sort of comic book-like panels uh, to do interesting things. I mean, uh, I like the idea but I just want to make sure that you're you're getting the most out of it. I'm not a big fan of the way. I mean, I don't. I, at first, I didn't. I didn't hate the fact that it swipes up here. But interestingly, I would have done that maybe with the gun wipe. Maybe like the the momentum of the gun wiping up pulls that extra frame up from the bottom. That could be interesting. Um, I'll, Alternatively, maybe rather than having like this awkward kind of little rectangle at the top, why not maybe have? Um, why not maybe? experiment with something a bit more angular uh can you know maybe dutch tilt this a little bit and then have you know the frame kind of like a kind of like a triangle at the top or something like that that could be interesting uh something about it being just a square at the top just feels wrong somehow um i don't know i it, also maybe consider having more than one maybe having like uh, three sections or something like that the reason why we typically see this um philosophically in 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 film is is it's a, to allow in one single frame like one one full you know whatever film frame to break it up into multiple frames so we're actually able to see more than one thing at the same time more point of point of views at the same time it's like having picture in picture um and so I like that. You're clearly using it for that reason, because like that bullet is 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 way up there, and there's no way with the framing we can't have this framing, but then be able to really see the bullet because it's so high and it would be small up there. So I think it's the right use. I think you're using you have the right idea here. I'm just not too sure about the execution. I think you'd if I were you, I would be I would be experimenting with other ideas as to how to frame that. And I would just pour over as much reference as I can to sort of get ideas to like you know different types of framing and different kind of options and just see what other people have done so you can experiment yourself because I, I think it's worth experimenting with because I think it's a really awesome idea. Um, another thing, it just feels a little disconnected to me, like the way that the position of the bullet, um, also when this is coming up, like the bullet comes in and out of the frame and it just, it just feels awkward. It doesn't feel polished. It's it, for something that's so graphic, you want to make sure you're nailing it and it just feels perfectly executed because it's a bit, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's meant to feel very stylized and very polished. So you want to nail it. So. Anyways, for what it's worth, um, what I was also saying is when it gets up here in the final position, something bugs me about the back about the fact that it's like over here, um, and that's why I thought like maybe could it be cool if it was like kind of like a oh my god ah why will you not continue to I, I never understood the um, the undo is so terrible sometimes it just doesn't oh now it's fun. It works suddenly. I don't know why. That's weird. The button worked, but the maybe I hit a button. I don't know what I did. Doesn't matter. Um, but like uh, you know, if it was a kind of oops. Oh, it doesn't let me do that. Straight lines are only vertical or I was trying to use the shift, because if you use shift and uh draw, you can actually get uh, straight lines, but apparently not with diagonals. So if it was something like this, um, then maybe the bullet would be like right here. You know, like, I just feel like it'd be kind of nice if, if it felt like it lined up so that like it felt connected somehow to where the like 
you know, with the composition, uh, with where, like, so the, the, the gun feels like it's aiming at it, but you're playing around with like having a zoomed, zoomed in view up here. It just feels weird that it's over here. If it just feels disconnected, something bothers me about it. Um, which, which should come into again, maximizing the use of having the multiple frames. You want to make sure that you're playing around with them so that they feel like they're, they're, you're giving, you're getting all the mileage you can out of them. Um, so yeah, so I mean, like, I'm not going to get too deep into this. My point is, just make sure that you're really going, like, you're really thinking it all the way through. Don't just kind of do it. Go all the way with it, because otherwise it just might feel awkward and clunky as opposed to giving you, like, full extra points. So worth worth investing in. I think it's, it's, it's a really great idea. Um, the recoil does not feel right. Let's slow it down and take a closer look. So... A recoil again. You should definitely. I. It's actually. It's pretty awesome. It just. There's a couple. A couple little details that are missing. My biggest problem is. Is why is the beginning of the recoil does the is the hand shooting forward? Um, it should absolutely be shooting backwards. I would highly recommend taking a look at some um, some reference. Normally, I would download something, but I was in a little bit of a rush before I started this review, so I didn't have the time to go look for some good recoil reference. But make sure you are taking a look at recoil reference because, like, it's it's going to make a big difference. Basically, the long and short of it is, um, the 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 barrel of the gun is going to be moving this way, right, when you're firing it, and what's going to happen is as I resist that the linear momentum will turn into an angular momentum because the wrist is not strong enough to resist that. So it'll kind of go back and then like this. So it's like a boom, 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 like this, right? I mean, obviously much faster, um, which just feels kind of not like what, like th this upwards motion, like I said, feels wrong. Um, and then it feels almost more like it's all going back. It almost feels like um, um, people in, like in, back in the day pretending they're like, you know, shooting guns on a, in a film, but they, they don't know what that looks like. So it just looks like me as a kid trying to like go pam, 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 because this, this, this reaction feels like what I'm seeing in a movie, but it's much more complex than that. It's, it's mostly the backwards motion that gets turned into an angular motion. Anyways, for what it's worth, I would do a little research on what a recoil looks like and just make sure that you're nailing that because it just feels feels like it feels good but again like you keep shooting forward first before like on a recoil i don't really get that i do like the how heavy the gun feels though it feels pretty awesome the other thing i would say is to try to add a little bit of randomness in there and like here you see the the muzzle flash is actually happening after the gun so like that's also could probably be a bit better And then the, and this this shot is coming out way, way after the gun's not even in the right spot anymore. So I think you could clean that up. I think you just sort of probably blocked it in really quick, um, especially the effects. So it'd be nice if you kind of take the time to kind of clean that up and and lock it down. But uh, yeah, so just make sure. Uh, and what I meant by randomness is is just, you know, subtle, subtle changes. Like it's pow, 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 pow. Like just so it feels like it's not always sort of shooting in the same spot. I feel like you're probably doing that though. I think what I'm just getting distracted by is the, but just that these like these two recoils look almost exactly the same. So I'm I'm worried that you're just reusing and looping that animation. Another thing is take a look at how how much this pops in the shoulder. Look at that pop. Boom. In reality, like the whole arm should be going back and then and then and then resisted by the by by the shoulder and that's what causes the sort of that rotation to happen. Um it feels like there's just something really weird going on there with the pop in the arm and the arm, you know, the the fist going out this way but the shoulder going down. Um Anyways, I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> Clearly, it's bothering me, and it's 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 like you got some of the details bang on, but then there's a couple details that are bang off, and so it'd just be nice if you could clean it all up and make that shooting just look awesome. And the reason why it needs to be awesome is because it's the only thing happening. I love this nonchalant attitude, like this pose here while he's doing that. I think is awesome. I love the whole energy, the vibes of that is is very 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 good. And I like look at all the attention to detail on the the secondary motion on on the jacket and stuff like you really, you know, you, you really did spend a lot of awesome energy and time and it really shows with all those little extra details. Um, the, something bothers me about how linear this movement is and how slow it is. I think you could do something a bit more graphic probably to kind of dress that up a little bit more. Um, that's the wipe I'm talking about. 
Then, not sure I understand this frame tilt. There's like a frame tilt that randomly happens, which I don't really get. It almost feels like it's like, and, it, and there's no, like, it's very linear too. Like it just stops, it doesn't ease in. I feel like this was maybe just a mistake or something. I don't really know. I don't really get it. Um, now, this moment here is my biggest issue, I think, of the whole thing. It's the thing that stink, sticks out as the most, in, in the most need of, 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 of improvement. And I don't have any concrete reason, uh, suggestions for you, to be honest, other than I would definitely try some things um, that, other than what you're doing. I, I think that this, this transition to get to here, way too fast and way too confusing. I don't, I don't understand it. I think um, it would be, I, I, again, awesome idea, this hot, beat up bullet. Um, I mean, it would also, speaking of which, um, I, would, like, I don't know why it's hot. <laughs> He shot it a couple times, but that wouldn't make it hot. Um, I think what you would need to do is try to sell that. Maybe as he's shooting it. Oh, you know what? What do you know? There it is. I didn't. I didn't notice this until right now. It is getting brighter and more red. So I take that. I take that back. Okay, fair enough. I think you've established that. But when it comes down, like I love this idea of it landing on the cigarette and then burning through the cigarette and basically lighting it. I mean, what a convoluted but very sexy way of lighting a cigarette. I think that's very, very clever, and I really, really love the concept. It's just that get from here to here, I don't know. I think you need to find a better way because it just feels very, very difficult to follow. The camera is moving kind of down really quickly, following this bullet, and then just the fact that it stops on a dime, it just, I don't know. It, I had to watch this a number of times before I understood what was happening. It almost felt like it was cutting. Um, so I would try to come up with potentially another way of getting there. Maybe a cut, maybe using frames, um, you know, maybe um, maybe even if you want to get keep it simple, this could just go and fall out of the shot. And then you could cut to basically him like with a cigarette and this thing just dropping and landing on the cigarette. That would be the simple, clean version of staging this, in my opinion. But there might be other ways if you wanted to kind of go more over the top. I just, I, something about this one just feels very, very jarring and it, it makes it very difficult to follow, which is sad because it's a great idea. Um, almost done, almost done. Consider better staging with a stronger silhouette here. So when we get here to help with the this, the staging and to help with clarity, there's a lot of like, it's just all jumbled. There's all kinds of stuff here, all the stuff. Where in reality, what if we could remove all that stuff out here and then like literally have it so that we really see more of just his head and, 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 the, and the, the hand and this cigarette and this thing landing where, where all the stuff in the background is all gone. Now, you could do that with some depth of field for sure if you're going to render this, but you could also maybe just push it with some lighting and also some some just some 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 framing or some some uh, staging with the character so that we don't have too much stuff going on in the background to 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 take away. Um, also, try to avoid having too much motion. Like this gun is moving a lot when what we really want to be doing is paying attention to this. Obviously, some effects animation would go a long way here too. Like we could actually see like maybe as he's pulling it in, like right now, he, like he's, I don't feel like there's any of that. I don't, I don't, I mean, I see his, his jaw moving, but I don't feel like a, I don't feel like there's a inhaling going on there. And I feel like while he's inhaling, it'd be great if that bullet was glowing even brighter red, because that would be what would happen if there was a, like an air over top of something that was hot. Um, like this is what a cinder would do. It's probably not true for like a hot bullet, but you know, I think people would connect with it anyways. Anyways, staging, staging, staging. Um, and we, anything we can do to make this make uh, as much sense as, po sense as possible, remove any distractions and focus on the, on what you're trying to say in this frame. You're not trying to say he's moving his hand around with his gun. What you're trying to say is there's a cool gag here and you, I want all everyone's attention hundred percent on that. And so just make sure that that's what you're doing. Don't distract from anything other than that central, um, that central beat that you want people to understand from this, this, from this scene or from this, this shot or framing or whatever. Um, last thing to say here is a uh, very jarring linear movement, lacking a proper ease out. The camera move should, um, also re revolve around the cigarette for better framing. So if we watch this, you'll see what I'm talking about. Do you see how jarring that is? It's because when we take a look at like, we're coming from this really great moment and then suddenly it's like, look at this very first frame. It's boom, 
There's no ease out at all whatsoever. And that's not the camera, though, because the camera is actually pretty subtle, I think. Or maybe it is. It's just that maybe the perspective is what's dampening in that. It feels like he's also like it's the camera as well as him moving suddenly. And I think it's all coming from a linear key. So just make sure that you have a proper amount of, you know, you know what you could also uh, think about doing that would really kind of give this whole scene, this whole thing a bit more texture is this very subtle handheld feeling camera. That could be very cool. It would depart from your typical anime presentation, but maybe that's then maybe that could be a good thing. Maybe it's this interesting kind of hybrid of um, of different ideas. I don't know. It's worth worth uh, worth thinking about. Um, so yeah, there, I don't have any comments for the rest because I think it's really great. Um, I, I think that I mean the landing could be a bit better. It feels a little bit simple. We're just kind of go like this as opposed to like if the, there's a proper landing that like maybe deforms the sign and maybe a couple a couple letters fall off right away or at least become loose and then suddenly after a beat they all kind of drop off i mean there could be more work done here to make that feel good or better but it's already pretty awesome so yeah i mean i had a lot to say there some of it is um, suggestions. Well, that's all, they're all suggestions, right? It's your it's your work. But um, hopefully there's at least a couple things that you can pick out of here to give your brain, um, your very obviously very capable brain, um, something to chew on if you really are wanting to push this to the next level. There's definitely a couple things here that, that uh, I think could go a really long way towards making this go from good to awesome. So thanks for handing it in. Um, uh, as usual, I, it's always nice to, 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 I always feel honored when someone is willing to trust me with the, um, with their work and to get some feedback like this. And, um, so, so thank you. Thank you for trusting me uh, with this and thanks for, for hanging around and, and listening the, um, you know, this to just sum up really quickly. This, this is a really beautiful piece of animation. Um, and I think that staging is probably the central sort of that because you're because you're venturing beyond animation here and you're trying to present something in a really clever way um i think that um, make sure that you're you're putting the same kind of time and effort and research into those extra things you're doing here beyond the animation just to make sure that it does justice um to this really great piece um that's my that's my big takeaway here so nice work and i hope to see more work from you in the future take care bye